uh, many people don't understand the complexity of the jobs they have, where they're ever having more jobs imposed on them and their budgets are going down and down and down. They really are an agency that is dedicated to public service. But oftentimes it strikes me both as a teacher of administrative law and a person who had been involved with the agency, that there's a certain momentum or a certain inertia. And part of the reason I wanted to allow people who were concerned tonight to express themselves is that there's no danger, in my judgment, to people expressing themselves in an open and public way. Where the danger lies is when secret deals are made and money weighs itself in and the point zero 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 one percent determine what the 99.999 percent are going to live with. Yep. So it seems to me very important that you continue your dedication to public participation in a nonviolent and in a civil way. There's no reason, for instance, with the last speaker that we couldn't listen because it's a very valid point of view. We have a different point of view expressing what I see in the crowd, but we ought to have a civil exchange so that there is a educated, scientifically based decision made. So thank you for coming tonight. Thank you to the BLM for their willingness to allow this to go forward, and let's see what happens in the future. Thank you. Thank you.